Hello crochet friends, welcome back. We're starting a new project today. I wanted to make this cute little llama. I found one of these kits and I've seen them around. There's all different kinds of little critters and things that you can make with them. So I wanted to give it a try. Um, basically, you don't need the kit. It seems that um, you can just use any yarn that you'd like as long as it's a super fine size one um, and you're using a 2.25 millimeter crochet hook. Um, I think that it, this is just a cute little packaging and I really like it and I think it would make a fun gift for somebody too. Um, but because all the colors come so nice together and you can look up the pattern online So you could make this with something bigger a thicker yarn or different colors If you want to change it up, but I'm gonna walk through the llama I'm gonna do the little white kind of guy here and let's see how it works out So whenever you get new yarn, we know that we want to um, Make it all into a ball, right? So you can just pop out your colors if you're using the kit and then take all your colors and separate them into the different sections and wind it up into a ball and there's multiple reasons why we do that one it does make it easier um, just for seeing your yarn and sometimes yarn can have little blunders in there right little oopses and it's better to see your yarn before you start your project and get going on it and you can see if there's a problem with the yarn and you can either purchase a different one or um, just you could knot it, whatever you need to do, but it is always better to wind it up into a ball and see how your yarn looks. So I'm gonna wind all these up and then we'll get ourselves started. Okay, I have them all in little balls and I'm glad I turned the camera off because you would have been horribly bored. It took me about 20 minutes to do the pink. It had a lot of knots in it, but everybody else went nice and smoothly. So, you know, it is what it is, but I'd rather do that before the project than be working on the project and be stuck with a ball of knots and just frustrated, right? So in this project, it makes two llamas. So if you're using your own colors, I just wanted to give you an idea. I did weigh the ball real quick the white is 27 grams the orange was 25 grams the pink was 26 grams and the blue is 25 grams so if I think if you have anywhere between 25 to 7 grams of each color plenty to make the one llama because the project like I said it makes two so it makes one that is in the white and one that is in the pink so just to give you a little heads up there on amounts and also this project refers to the colors by a letter White is A, pink is B, blue is C, and yellow, orangey kind of color here is D. Okay, so if when I write that in the pattern, you'll have an idea of what color we're using. The project does start with A to make the white llama. I'm making the white. Um, you could also use B, it says, if you want to make the pink llama. So, I mean, pretty easy, pretty straightforward. So I'm gonna put those aside for now because I'm not gonna use those right now. We're gonna start with the white and we're gonna start um, getting ourselves going here with this. I know it's a long intro, but I really wanted to make sure everybody was on the same page and you know, you had what you needed. And don't, you don't wanna run out of yarn in the middle of your project. So we're gonna start ourselves with making a magic loop. So yarn over, I'm sorry, wrap yarn over right so you're crossing it go under grab and twist I will put the um, link down below for the short of that the little tutorial just because it's nice and slow right and it's easier yarn over and pull through for your chain okay that secures your loop and we're going to work inside our loop we want six single crochets inside of our ring here so we're going to enter yarn over and pull through Yarn over and pull through two for your first single crochet. Enter again, yarn over and pull through, yarn over and pull through two, there's two. And we're gonna keep doing this. We need six, there's three, four, five, and six, okay. And it says we're not going to join I'm not going to join um, in the round, so just pull your little loop there, and we're gonna get a marker, because we need to see what we're doing here, right? We need to know where our first stitch was, 
for the next round. I'm trying to get myself together. Let's see if I've got a little piece here. Oh, yep, I do. Well, that's not, that was very little. <laughs> here he is, my little green one, I'll use that. That's a little end of something. Okay, so I'm gonna place this here just to give me an idea. And if this is the first time you used a hook this small, just have patience. It's small work, um, and sometimes it makes it hard to see, so just take your time. So that is round one. We did our ring, we did six single crochets inside the ring, and now we've placed our marker, okay? So now we're gonna go to round two. So, we want to remember a couple of things that the stitches are going to work in every other round of this section are going to be in the back loops only so as we get there we're going to we're going to work on that and um, the fleece that's on the outside of the llama will be worked up later on so we have six one two three four five six this is my first little stitch over here one two three four five here he is and we're going to work in his back loop so we know that there are two little loops when we're crocheting, right? So we wanna go in this back loop of our work because this is the second round. And in this, we're gonna work two single crochets. So we're gonna enter, yarn over and pull through, yarn over and pull through two. So there's one single crochet. Go right back in there, yarn over and pull through, yarn over and pull through two. That's two. We're gonna go into the next one in the back loop only. Make sure you're getting the whole loop because I did not that time. <laughs> this little hook makes little stitches. There we go. Two single crochets in here. So here's one, go back in, and two. Okay, so we have four stitches now on our work. We're gonna go into the back loop only of the next stitch. We're going to continue with this until we get around to our marker and we'll have 12 stitches on our work. All right, single crochets the whole way, back loop only. Here we go. Okay, that's my last one. And I'm going to pull my marker out. I'm going to move it over here. Everything will close up as you go along. I know it, at first it always seems a little loosey-goosey and things don't seem quite right, but we will be just fine. So that is round two. We have now 12 single crochets on our work. We doubled our work. And in the next, we're going to work the whole stitch, okay? So we wanna enter the whole stitch and we're gonna give it a single crochet in this next stitch right here. So there's one just a single crochet go into your following stitch right here and we're going to give it two single crochets so a little bit of an increase yarn over and pull through got myself all twisted up here here we go and pull through two so there's one go back in that same stitch and another single crochet okay so we repeat this all the way around so this next one one single crochet and the following stitch two single crochets okay so here's one single crochet go back in two single crochets everything will loosen up as we go I know it just seems weird right now and repeat single crochet Next one, two single crochets. There's one, go back in, and two. Keep going until you make it to your marker. This is my last one. You should have 18 stitches on your work. You can pull out your marker and move it up for the next time. We're at the end of round three. We have 18 stitches on our work. Give them a count, make sure you're okay. And we'll meet up next time for round four. We'll see you then. Thank you and have a joyful day.